Hello. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do another wood wood beads of spondylus nicholas. I have my rope. This is about 1.6 millimeter or 116 inch wide and thick. I have the lock. I have the pendant. I have my lighter. I have my scissors and I have my beads. So I have about four feet of rope. I'm gonna get both ends. Both ends and stick them through the back of the pendant. Then just watch what I'm doing. I'm pulling both ends. Make sure both ends are equal. Both ends are equal. So pull. Then grab this end, this end right here, and put the both ends to here. I'm just gonna pull up. Separate both sides of the rope. Then you just start putting the beads. So I split the beads 62, 62. So I'm just gonna show you me doing a couple of the beads. So I'm gonna burn the end of the rope since uh, so I can make the rope slimmer. So it'll be easier for the beads to go through. Just go through the hole. Okay, so I just put three and now I'm gonna do the rest of the 62 and I'll just skip the video to me doing the other side. Now I've done all 62 beads on the right side. Now I'm just gonna show you me doing a couple of the beads on the left side. I just burned the end of the rope. Now I'm just gonna put in a couple beads. Okay, and just pull it to the end. Since all these beads are the same size, it doesn't matter how you organize them, as long as they're separated in the half in half, like 62 on one side, 62 on the other side. It doesn't matter how much beads you have, it just Make sure you have enough beads to be long enough for the person to wear the necklace comfortably. Okay, just gonna do one more, then I'm gonna skip to the one I'm done. Okay, just last one. I'm gonna do the rest of the 62. Okay, so now I've done 62 beads on each side, so I'm gonna tie a knot on each end or a double knot to lock the beads in place. So Double knot, double knot.
Okay. And then I got a double model in each hand. On the right side will be the clasp, clasp or lock shot, whatever you want to call it. Then on the left side will be the overhand loop knot. So on this side, I'm gonna tie another knot higher, about an inch away, or yeah, about an inch. So there's one knot on the right, but I'm gonna make another knot an inch away. So double knot. Now I'm gonna put the clasp or lock shell in. Like that. Then on top of this clasp or lock, I'm gonna tie another double knot as close as I can. Okay, double knot. Okay. Then on the right side, I mean the left side, will be the overhand loop knot. So I'm gonna get a loop like this. And make sure this can fit through the loop. Then tie the loop around. Just like that. Then I'm gonna cut the ends of each rope, but since this rope is thin, I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch or half, quarter to half inch of extra rope. Cause I'm gonna burn the ends and I don't wanna burn the knot. So then I'm gonna burn it for security purposes. Okay, and that's how you do it. Just put the class through the overhead loop knot, then you got yourself a necklace. Thank you for watching.